What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Artie and we're gonna give you guys another ownership review. I did a Lexus GS350 and that video did very well and a lot of people appreciated the information. So we have a 2011 Chevy Cruze 1.4 liter turbo and I'm gonna give the guy the opportunity to talk and explain to you guys his ownership experience on this car and what actually went wrong because he did not do a PPI on this car and it could have cost him thousands of dollars if he had it repaired at Chevy. So we're gonna do a little walk around of the car and then I'll have the guy speak to you on the repair bill and how he went and where he picked up his parts. All right guys, this is my boy Simon and he's the owner of the Chevy Cruze. So he's gonna be giving you guys an explanation of what went wrong with the car. He actually speaks very highly of the car. He put a lot of miles on it. So let's start asking him the questions and you guys, hopefully these answers will help you pick and choose if you really wanna get this variant of the Chevy Cruze or if you wanna get the 1.8 liter. But overall, he said he's very happy, right, with the car? Yeah, hi guys, what's up? So uh, this is a 1.4 liter turbo, once again, I'm repeating myself. And what exactly went wrong with the car? You purchased it with 36,000 miles, I believe. And what happened? You want to explain Yeah, that? I bought this car last year. It was October, so the car had 36,000 miles. So in a couple of days, I realized that it's not as powerful as it used to be the first day. So what happened was the turbocharger, apparently it wasn't working. Actually, it was working on and off. So what I did, I went to Chevy dealership, yeah, and so they told me it's going to be about like two thousand dollars to repair it, to actually replace the turbocharger. So um, I started going to these different mechanic shops. No one could help me. So finally, I just bought a new uh, turbocharger yeah, on you Amazon. Me. Amazon. So you yeah. picked it up for how much? For five hundred thirty-five dollars, I believe. Five thirty-five off yeah. Amazon, oh. and then how much did you pay for a repair for like the so second two party? So uh, two hundred fifty dollars plus some some other expenses. So I I, I, I ended up spending nine hundred fifty dollars. Okay, so the, the car. Okay, so let's. Uh, so he bought it at thirty-six thousand miles. Yeah. You repaired the turbo. It went. Uh, you repaired it at around what thirty-seven thousand miles. Yeah. And how many miles do you have on the odometer now? Uh, Eighty-three thousand. Okay, so you put around 45,000, yeah. 50, almost 50,000 yeah. miles and the only thing that went wrong was the turbo and you also yeah. told me that Everything you had a ground issue yeah. besides, mm -hmm. but the turbo would have cost you, they estimated what, around $2,000 for the repair? Yeah, it would be $2,000 at Chevy. Now, 36,000 miles it went bad, but it was out of warranty because of the year, the so year 2011 and this was what, last year you got it? Yeah, okay. last October. Yeah. So this is a highway mile car. He commutes very, very far for work. But overall, like, you know what? I talked to him, uh, besides putting this on camera, this was actually unplanned yeah. for, but I thought this would be really good information for you guys because we're actually about to kick it to have some Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? Let's put this on camera because there might be somebody that's actually trying to uh, buy one of these cars out there. And I'm actually thinking of doing more of these type of videos on like, different types of budget buys and used cars because I think it's a lot of good information. Ownership experience videos are really, really good. He also told me that there was one issue with the ground, right, from the, the, ground, battery. Yeah, from the battery? So your uh, stereo? My radio, yeah, yeah. stereo started like, going on and off. I yeah. didn't know what it was. But I actually just went on, you know, You YouTube. did that, you repaired that yourself, right? I just right? bought like the a... wire and replaced it, that's okay. it. Okay, uh, do you want to tell them anything else? Do you like the six-speed uh, automatic transmission, the horsepower? I think this car has 136 horsepower. I'm not too educated, like I said, this is last minute, but I believe it's 136 horsepower. Yeah, uh, sure, is it is it really quick, responsive? Because a lot of people say quick. out there that the 1.8 turbo is uh, the 1.4 liter turbo is actually better than the 1.8 naturally aspirated. They say the, the torque and the turbo makes it feel a little bit more speedy. Uh, I checked the zero to sixty. I think it's like 9.3. But uh, do you like it overall? You think it's? I really quick? like this car. So I don't. I'm not. I can't say it's really quick. Yeah. But it's enough. I mean, it's just a, you know. And what about miles really, per gallon? Really fuel efficient? It's really fuel. It's like 24, yeah. 30, right? Something yeah. like that around there. 
So guys, listen, a uh, little quick video for you guys. I really like ownership reviews because you know when, when I go buy something, I want to hear the raw ownership um, experiences that people tell me than you know, somebody that works for the brand. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I want to say thank you again for Simon for being on camera and telling you guys you. this because it's very important to actually have the owner than besides me telling you all this information. A little short video for you guys, everybody that's maybe a future, future buyer for the Chevy Cruze Chevy lineup in general. Thanks again for joining and watching another video. If you have any questions, comments, comment below. If you're new to the channel, first off, check out the Lexus video that I did. It did exceptionally well and a lot of people appreciated all the information that I put out there. And if you're new again, consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.